I am Lee Snellgarve. I am the chair of the Parks Foundation Board. Uh, so it's my job to welcome you all here tonight on behalf of the City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Foundation. Um, and I would like to uh, it, say that it's an honor to be here with you all to celebrate uh, someone that the SB Nation called the perfect basketball superstar for the modern era. So I, I, it's my, also my job to offer a few thank yous uh, that made this event and this evening possible um, so we could celebrate. So first of all, I'd like to thank Mayor Rickman and City Council. We have uh, Councilman Howard Duvall, uh, Councilwoman Oddity Bustles, and uh, Councilman-elect Tyler Bailey that are joining us tonight. So thank you for being here and all your support. Uh, thank uh, City Manager Teresa Wilson and her staff for, are here and we want to thank them. Um, Chief Holbrook and uh, Chief Jenkins are here, so thank you. Um, definitely like to send a huge thank you to all the city staff that help the Parks Foundation constantly. Uh, definitely a lot of the park staff uh, led by Henry Simons and Mr. Randy Davis. Um, thank you all, they're tremendous. We are, we are very fortunate. We have a lot of parks, and that takes a lot of staff, and they're really great staff. Um, I want to recognize the board members of the Parks Foundation that are here tonight. So if you all, they're, they're spread throughout the room in a lot of different places, so make sure you catch them. But if you'll just raise your hand if you're a Parks Foundation board member. Uh, thank you all that are here. Um, I take a moment to thank our sponsors that made tonight possible. So our silver sponsors include Columbia SC63. Uh, Grace Outdoor, the Manly Home Team, uh, Patrick Patterson and Global Partners, and Stifle Public Finance. And then our bronze level sponsors, Mr. Anthony Jackson, the Bailey Law Firm, Central Carolina Community Foundation, the Columbia Tennis League, <laughs> they're having a good time, uh, the uh, uh, Diabetes Free SC, uh, Pivot Analysis, uh, Representative Chris Hart, the Salmon Group at Morgan Stanley, and Train. And I'd also like to thank our DJ tonight, DJ Lady Marauder, who's been spinning tunes for us, and we'll do so after the program. Uh, I want to thank Isaac Charles, who's over there doing a live painting for everybody to uh, watch. Um, thank you to One Ear Cow Glass, who made our lovely award that you see up here tonight. Um, and I want to thank the Alumni Center staff uh, for all their support through this. Um, also to Linda Toro and Scott Garrick, who worked tirelessly with me to make, pull all this stuff together. So thank you to them. So, yeah, thank you. So thank you to everybody that made this possible. Um, so now I get to hand this off and not do any more jobs. Um, to uh, Columbia's favorite news anchor, uh, a wonderful supporter of our community, and a huge basketball fan, Judy Gatson. Good evening, everybody. I am so excited, honored, delighted to be here with you all tonight, especially because it is in honor of our hometown girl. Listen, we gotta get the energy amped up in here. Y'all gotta be able to match my energy, and that is a lot. Y'all are in the room with not the one, but the two-time WNBA champ. Yay! an Olympic gold medalist, yes, yes you are, yes you are, and let me say it for the people in the back, y'all in the room with the MVP, period, okay baby, yes, yes, Asia, this night is for you, and it's in addition to your incredible accomplishments on the court, what I admire, what so many people admire about you are all of the things you do off the court things that you don't have to do, but they are things that have been instilled in you from your parents, your grandparents. I know your grandmama is smiling, smiling down with so much pride. And so we are here tonight to say thank you for the countless lives that you are touching. I know when you drive by the basketball court, I know you, you like seeing the kids out there playing, but Asia, you'll never know the incredible impact. You know, when you have that ripple effect, when you toss that pebble out there, the ripple effect that you have, girl, the way God is going to continue to magnify and amplify it. 
That is what we are here to celebrate tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Asia Wilson. Well, listen, there's a lot that we have to celebrate tonight. We're going to get the party started by inviting Mayor Rickman to come forward. And Mayor Rickman, he knows what it takes to put in some work to make your dreams happen. He worked two jobs himself to save up and start his own business. He did a couple of stints on city council before stepping up into the lead role as mayor. And he is delighted to be here to help lead this celebration tonight. Please welcome our mayor, Daniel Rickman. <laughs> If you can not seen Judy's shoes, she's beat all of you, by the way. <laughs> just, just saying. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. All right, come on, get louder than that now. We're, we're in Columbia, South Carolina, the number one city in South Carolina, here to honor our favorite ambassador, and I say that truly. Asia Wilson has done more to draw attention to Columbia, South Carolina than any other individual, and she does it in so many different ways. Not only does she kill it on the court, she wins every accolade there is, but she gives back. And, to, and, and, and she gives back, and to be honest, so many people leave Columbia and they forget about Columbia. She doesn't forget where she came from, and she's constantly giving back. And I think Judy's, the way you said it, the ripple effect is, is true, and that's why we're all here today. You know, we have an incredible park system, you know, 60 parks. We're investing more money in our parks today than we ever have in the history of the city. And we're doing it to prove the quality of life. And we're doing it under great leadership. Henry Simons, Randy Davis, Teresa Wilson, the entire city council. And we're doing it because we want everyone to have the quality of life that they should have no matter where you live. But we can't do it alone. And the investments and the give back that people give is so important. And Asia, thank you for doing what you do. Um, I truly, when I say we have an ambassador for the city of Columbia, it's this young lady right here. And I hope before the year's out, we're going to push that when you pull up on Assembly Street, you're going to see a 30 foot Asia Wilson staring at you. <laughs> We want to put that banner up there so everybody knows about how much she cares about her hometown, but how much we care about you, and thank you. Um, I don't hold it against you that your father's Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you talk about somebody else who wants to give back. I know why Asia does it, because her parents are so caring. Yeah. Her grandparents were so caring, and there was a reason why, and we thank you for all of it. But I did want to take a minute to give you not only uh, the key to the city if you'll come up um, and we made a mini version for you so that you could take it back to Vegas and put it put it on your nightstand and look at it <laughs> every night but The key to the city is, is a great honor, but the city of Columbia uh, has only done this three times, and what's in here is a set of coins from the bicentennial that were minted for the city of Columbia, and we've only given them three sets out, and Asia, you're the third set. Oh. <laughs> wanted something special for Asia, and this is special. This, from the 139,237 people that live in this city, thank you. Thank you so much for what you do, what you give back, and how much you continue to support this community. And let's see a three-peat. That's the way. Thank you. I'm definitely down with the three P, but for now, Asia, we just gonna say the three coins are for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Yeah, there we go, for the Trinity, okay? And it's a perfect segue for our next guest because um, the Asia's spirit has always been grounded in her faith. We are delighted to have with us tonight Reverend Dr. Jamie O'Gram Sr. from St. John Baptist Church, her family's home church, um, and I tell you what, his love for preaching and the gospel 
um, I know has served the Wilson family well and being grounded in their faith so many years and the way that they have raised their family in the spirit. So please welcome Reverend Dr. Jamie O'Grand, senior I have only just a minute, exactly 60 seconds in it. <laughs> didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I abuse it, give an account if I lose it. I have only just a minute, but eternity is in it. When I think about Asia Wilson, I think about a little girl being nurtured and developed in a faith community that was led by her grandfather and grandmother, the late Dr. Roscoe and Ethel C. Wilson. As the new kid on the block, the new pastor some 20 years ago of that faith community, I watched her grow into an amazing and a phenomenal woman who is a force to reckon with both on and off, off the court. I've watched her grow from a not so, from a not so sure if I want to play basketball to a hard working, dedicated and committed student and player of the game. And so now when I think about Asia Wilson, I think about the sermons that the Lord has allowed me to weave and integrate and include her story in as, as a relevant example of how God can take what the world would say a nobody, no name, average player, average person, and turn them into champions. When no one else saw the champion in her, her father and mother did, her grandmother, her grandparents did, her church family, and more importantly, God saw the champion in her. And just like God saw the champion in her, God sees the champion in each one of you. When I think about Asia Wilson, I think about another sermon that I preached that's called Born to Be a Baller. LeBron James is not the only one born to be a baller. Check out our homegirl, Asia Wilson. <laughs> who grew up right in St. John Baptist Church, raised off of Leesburg Road, Columbia, South Carolina. She was born to Eva and Roscoe C. Wilson Jr., a former basketball player, basketball star for Benedict College, and a nine-year nine professional player in Europe. So basketball was already in Asia's DNA. Asia was born to be a baller. Starting her basketball career in eighth grade, Asia went on to lead the Heathwood Hall girls to a basketball team a state championship her senior year. While overcoming the challenge of being dyslexic, Asia became the number one girls basketball player in the nation. She went on to USC, leading them to national title in 2017. Asia was born to be a baller. As if that was not enough, she, be she becomes the number one draft pick, WNBA signing on with the Las Vegas Aces and earning a title of Rookie of the Year. She was born to be a baller. When I think about Asia Wilson, I think about one more message that I preach called, Take Your Best Shot. Like the prophet Elijah encouraged King Joash to take his best shot, and like Roscoe and Eva Wilson and Don Staley and many others encouraged Asia to take her best shot, God has placed many people around you to encourage you to take your best shot. And guess what? Like Hamilton, Asia kept saying, I'm not throwing away my shot, shot. <laughs> And yes, she proved that your best shot may not be your first or your second shot, but keep on shooting for your goals and your dreams and your aspirations until you make it. Like Asia Wilson, I just stopped by to tell you, 
to take your best shot. I stop by to encourage you to keep on shooting until you reach your goal. So shoot until you complete the task. Shoot until you triumph. Shoot until you win the game. That's just what Asia Wilson did. In her senior year, she shot until she won the game. That's just what she did. In her senior year in Heathwood Hall, that state championship game, I could see it, it was just like yesterday. <laughs> they were down by three, up against Northwoods, and her daddy said it was five seconds on the clock. I think it was about seven seconds on the clock. <laughs> but Asia goes down the court. Time is ticking. Clock is ticking out. She throws a three-pointer, and yes, it hit all net. She dropped 37 points in that game, and they won the state championship because she never stopped shooting until they won the game. And so the question is, how bad do you want it? Asia Wilson said, I want it bad enough to drop 37 points in that final game. <laughs> I want it bad enough to take the final shot in the few seconds of, to take it in the overtime. I want it bad enough to keep on shooting until we get the job done. In essence, Asia Wilson is saying, I'm not throwing away my shot, shot. She kept on shooting until USC won the NCAA championship in 2017. She kept on shooting until the Las Vegas Aces won the WNBA championship last year and did it again this year. Yeah. Hallelujah. So somebody say, that's the Asia Wilson I know. Yeah. And somebody say, I'm not throwing away my shot, shot. And so no, we're not gonna throw away our shot. And we encourage you to keep on shooting until the victory's won. Congratulations, Asia. We're so proud of you. May God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. Yes, you were born to be a baller. Y'all did not know y'all was going to get the baller shot caller sermon <laughs> on Monday night. But y'all all involved, invited to St. John on Sunday morning, OK? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce a woman who is truly on a mission to empower other women. She is elevating the WNBA by breaking all the rules, by setting new expectations in terms of equity, pay, and representation. She is a trailblazer in her own right, and she is making sure that there is always a brilliant shine on that Asia Wilson name, brand, and legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Jay Lee English! <laughs> Reverend Ann Judy both stole my speech. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wing it. And I'm gonna make it personal to me. Try not to cry. <laughs> Legacy. Um, Asia Wilson's legacy. Her legacy on South Carolina. Her legacy on women, women in sports, black women, me. It's a long, long lasting impact that will ripple through time, honestly. <laughs> like I said, the Reverend and Judy stole my uh, my speech. So again, I'm just going to make it personal to me, um, and again, personal to women. I think that Asia Asia changed the trajectory of women's sports, the trajectory of women's basketball. Um, if she would not have committed to come to South Carolina and be coached under Don Staley, um, I believe, and I'm just gonna be petty, 
we still be talking about Connecticut. We still be talking about, you know, all these other teams and coaches that um, have also had their impact, but she changed history. She did. Um, I will say that when I was not sure of what I wanted to do and what my legacy and impact would be, my parents were like, oh, Jade, you know, you should really, really just talk to Asia Wilson. She's killing it. She is the future. Um, and she is. She's still the future. Um, they said, you know, Jade, I think that what she's doing is going to leave a lasting, had a lasting impact. And here we are. Here we are. Um, I'm just going to read these off because there is. These are, these are accolades that should not be diminished. And I'm only gonna read a few. McDonald's All-American. She was the first Gamecock and really the one to bring a championship to the University of South Carolina. She did have teammates, obviously, but. <laughs> <laughs> But her, her commitment and passion to South Carolina um, really raised the stakes and made a difference. She was the most outstanding player in the NCAA tournament. Um, she went on to be the number one draft pick, rookie of the year, an all-star in her rookie season and has been an all-star ever since. Um, that same year, she won gold with the women's national team, FIBA gold. She won MVP in 2020. And not many people know, I mean, 2020 was a hard year for all of us. But, you know, winning MVP, you would think, oh, she's, on top of the world, she's got it all. But then became a mental health advocate after that. She wrote her first essay for the Players Tribune, Dear Black Girl, which, plug, is now gonna be a book. Is <laughs> 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 now gonna be a book. February 6th, go get it. Um, and then went on to win gold in Tokyo with the Olympic team. She was the MVP of that team, MVP of the FIBA gold medal team that won, that won gold in 2021 as well. She should be on her third MVP, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll take the championship and the finals MVP. Yep. Exactly, we'll take that, we'll take that. Um, but I think one of the most important things about Asia is who she is as a human being. And it's so funny, I was like trying to figure out what to say today. Obviously I could have said all the same things, but it's funny how things just come up on your Twitter feed. <laughs> and her coach, Natalie Nakasa said today, what stands out is that she is just a genuine person who is the best female athlete in basketball right now, and she is one of the best human beings I've ever met. And I can honestly say the same thing. One of the best human beings. <laughs> inspires me every day. Inspires all of those around her every day. She inspires little girls. How, how many Asia Halloween costumes did you guys see this year? <laughs> that is Asia Wilson's impact. She never turns down an autograph. She never turns down a hug. And she is truly, truly making history. 
and she's not even done yet. She hasn't even scratched the surface. Y'all don't even know what's coming out. <laughs> no idea. But that's just Asia Wilson. Um, grateful for even Roscoe for, for raising such a lovely, lovely lady. And Miss Hattie Ray, Rakes Wilkes as well. Um, and as I said, there's, there's really no way that I can actually quantify her impact, and it's still only to be seen. Um, anyone who knows her will say the same. Her teammates, her coaches, um, and I just, I, I will end this with saying, we are here because Asia Wilson is the person who, in every single contract that she has, makes sure that there is a give back. And what is now Mountain Dew, well, was Mountain Dew, now Starry. In that contract, she said, I want to refurbish a court. And I want to do it in the community that I grew up. And here we are. But that's every single contract she has, and that's who Asia Wilson is. So I would like to end this with saying thank you to Lee Snellgrove, um, Mary Rickerman, Linda Toro, who probably is so annoyed with me, <laughs> Henry Simons, um, Scott Garrett, uh, and I'm sure I'm missing a few, but thank you guys all for being here. Um, thank you, Asia, for being you. And I'm not going to take up any more of your time or snickle all over your microphones. <laughs> you know, it speaks volumes um, because Jay represents the type of people that Asia surrounds herself with. Authenticity. That's what I think about when I think about Asia Wilson. And I do want to add one accolade to Jay's very long and impressive list. Asia's um, bag of ruffles, uh, the ridges, the barbecue smoky, definitely the best bag, Asia, definitely <laughs> the best bag. <laughs> Your mama knew I was all over Columbia looking for the Asia bag, I really was. All right, everyone, speaking of being in her bag, there is a wonderful video tribute um, recognizing Asia's incredible impact on our community. If you would please direct your attention to the screens. Columbia is number one, always in my heart. That's home, no matter what. I know I live in Vegas, but uh, I never lose sight of where I come from, and, and, and Columbia's done, the state of South Carolina has done so much for me. A collaborative effort like this, large-scale effort, wouldn't happen, and it wouldn't happen today if it wasn't for, for Asia's support. This donation, this right here, may, allows the city to be able to do even more because now this is done and it's something we always wanted to do so we can focus resources to continue to make Hyatt Park and this community even better. Once this court dedication was done and she was able to come back home, this was one of the places that she wanted to drive by to see how it was impacting. At that time, there were actually people playing on the court. So she really felt really, really good about it. And so she's like, that's what I wanted it to do. Bring people outside, bring people out in the community to show that we're still here. We're still here. I mean, we have people all around this neighborhood who know Asia's grandparents. They know what they did for this community. And for her to come back and continue those, leg living that legacy, it's just wonderful. It's just great. I'm all about what can we do better, how can we grow better as just people um, and even as players. So uh, I can't thank enough uh, for everyone. I mean, this court is beautiful. Uh, when we were taking pictures, she was just like, you got to see the wings. And I look and it's wings like this so big, uh, especially in this community, because my parents, my grandparents did not live too far from here. So to come back and to give back, um, it's huge to me. It gives the young generation an opportunity to be the next Asia Wilson, the next LeBron James, the next whoever you want to name, uh, and that's where it all goes. I love to see it come to life. This is going to be probably my baby. I'm, every time I'm coming back here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to drive by here just to make sure somebody out on the court, whether you're getting a bucket or just walking and enjoying some, uh, some nice little sun, sunshine. So thank you. Can't thank y'all enough. I know I said that so many times, but no, I'm truly grateful and blessed to be able to have this in our community and bring it to life. She has a, a feel 
for what kids go through because she went through it. So it, uh, it draws her a little closer to um, whether it be the parks, whether it be indoor or outdoor. So I think it's her, it's her, inner, it's her inner beauty that, uh, that, makes that, mo that makes that go. She played basketball and sports through parks. And I think that, uh, I think she got a feel for what it did for kids. Anything that, that, that can contribute to a kid's development and growth, she's gonna be a part of it. So I, I think that's where it kind of caught on. And uh, I remember even in here and in some other parts when she played, you know, uh, rec league basketball. Roscoe and I worked um, some time ago um, for the city of Columbia at Drew Park Pool. Asia was there. She was there while we were working part-time on the weekends. And also, as far as Greenview Park is concerned, um, Asia took um, tennis lessons from Domino Bullwear for years, he and his wife Jackie. So she has always been involved in the community by way of the city of Columbia Parks and Recreation. From one homegrown girl to another, I am so proud of you. Um, I've watched you grow up, and all the accolades you have are meaningful, well-deserved, but honestly for me, it's when I see your confidence and your grace and character instilled by the two people on both sides of you, my friends, Eva and Roscoe, <laughs> it makes it mean everything. It's your grace. It's, it's what you learn from your parents about giving back and being part of the community that is probably the top. That's a Hall of Famer for me, and thank you for being part of our community. Thank you for remembering Columbia, South Carolina, even though you love being in Vegas. We love you back here. Uh, you may be number 22 on the court, but you're number one in our hearts, and we appreciate it all that you're here and you're doing what you're doing. She knows where she came from. She knows where she's trying to get to. And what she wants to do is bring people along with her. That's really what she wants. She wants to impact the lives of the youth here in um, Columbia as best she can. I'm, I am proud. I'm extremely proud. I'm, I am overjoyed, but more so I'm blessed. Asia's, Asia's a blessing from God. I tell everybody, Asia's a blessing from God. I'm just trying to stay out of the way <laughs> and let him work, you know. But I'm very proud of her. She, she's accomplished everything she set out to accomplish. Hey, Asia Wilson, you just get celebrated and honored every single day. Every time I turn around, it's Asia this, Asia that, Asia wins this, Asia wins that. Um, you are so deserving. So I, I want to shout you out because the park is in Rex, right here in the city of Columbia, is recognizing you for your long list of achievements. So it's harvest time. Collect your things, Asia. We are Columbia. We want to thank the City of Columbia for their support, and um, Eva and Roscoe, it's always great to hear from you all. I mean, just as you, your pride and joy in all that you have poured into Asia and to see the way that it is now blessing so many others. It is now my pleasure to welcome a municipal trailblazer. Uh, City Manager Teresa Wilson leads the executive team for South Carolina's capital city, of course, and is taking the city operations to the next level, so we want to welcome her to celebrate Asia Wilson as well. Please give her a warm welcome. Well, Jade said, how do I follow Pastor Graham? And uh, Judy, how do I follow all of them? Um, Jade is so right, and excuse my voice, Asia, I love you because I have had flu light symptoms the last week, and this is, I was working virtually, but we weren't gonna miss this girl, okay? <laughs> had to come with the voice cracking or whatever, so bear with me. Um, and some of the, the things have been said that I wanted to say, but I'm gonna carry on the theme and delve into it a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna ask Roscoe and Eva and Pastor Graham to help me out a little bit because there's some connections here, and I said it on the video, I mean it sincerely. 
um, you know, when you're a homegrown girl, what that means. And when you are raised by a village, what that means. So back in the 60s and 70s in Columbia at Benedict College, so a lot of these Benedict Tigers are in the house. Help me out, help me out. Um, my, my mother and father were there on the yard, as I said, with your daddy. Um, and some others, like Ms. Marion Cohen, I see here, former councilman Sam Davis. Um, I better not start calling out people. Um, your, your church member, Mr. Donald Giss, um, Dr. Lonnie Randolph, people who have gone on. Uh, my parents, Dr. and Mrs. Stephen Therese Wilson, let me say their names, um, to do things in their own right. While they were there, though, and becoming young men and women um, to later have influences in their own spheres, they were nurtured by um, the church communities in Columbia, like St. John Baptist Church and First Nazareth Baptist Church and Bethlehem Baptist Church. But not only, as has been previously stated, did your grandfather have influence uh, Pastor Roscoe Wilson Sr., but as my mother told me to say tonight, Ma Wilson, Miss um, Ethel Wilson, your grandmother, was a religious studies professor, correct, Roscoe? And was watching over all of them. My mother told me that her presence was something magnificent on the campus at Benedict College for not only the young women to build character and grace and poise, but also for the men on campus. Um, when we now grow up and we look back at why we do what we do and where we pull deep from, is that fabric. So when your mom and dad were off working and doing their things, the grandparents were there. I know as a young girl, when my parents were starting their careers, it was the grandmothers who were at the home front. The children were left with them, and they were disciplining, braiding, or plaiting my hair, um, fixing the food, and making sure we were straight. And I know. Um, the regional support from Hopkins, where your maternal grandmother also was such a big part of your life, Eva's mother, and like my, my grandparents up in little old Blair, Fairfield County, South Carolina, they could not be more proud um, of what we've become. The reason why I know, I think, that sometimes when it gets really hard, doing the work that we do and the jobs that we do. And when you are having a long practice or when, um, you know, you end up painting people being aggressive with you, girl, you pull from that inner strength. You might not be thinking about it right there and then, but it's got to have come from somewhere. And your daddy, that big old personality of his, and your beautiful, poised mother with that grace. It has come from their parents. I really, I really believe that and that purpose, I think that was, that was instilled when we weren't even thinking about it a long time ago. So bringing it back around to see you want to restore two basketball courts at Hyatt Park, I mean, it's a no-brainer for you because it's within you. It has been within you to do that because you have only seen that done, that commitment, that service done by your grandparents and your parents. I think where we find ourselves and the reason it's so important in our community now is that, unfortunately, we are being we're having to stand in the gap because that village isn't always there anymore for some of our children. 
our young children, our brown and black boys and girls who need that level of support. And I'm going to say that because I own that and I feel like it's within us in our roles to do what we can do. And you're doing that. And you don't have to do any more than just do what you're doing. I tell my staff all the time, don't try to be something you're not. Just be great at what you're doing and show excellence with what you do because they are watching us. So all you got to do, girl, is just keep on doing what you're doing. We got you. That athleticism, that beauty, that poise, that confidence, that smile, that dance and spirit, that style, the, the candles, the entrepreneurial spirit. Keep your parents, your village, your church community, Jade, the people who know you, you can count a problem in one hand. I say that a lot of times. Keep them close to you and just keep letting your light shine. We love you, we celebrate you, and we are about to celebrate you in another way and show this community how inspired we are by you because it brings our community joy. When my mother and father were watching the game yesterday, because they couldn't be there, they kept calling me. I was like, I can't watch the game, but y'all keep calling me. You see what Malaysia did? You see what Ashlyn's doing? So it's two more homegrown girls who are that next class of Gamecock greatness. And to see the Gamecock royalty in the house yesterday, celebrating your former teammate, Tiffany, and letting her light shine, but you celebrated her. It means so much, and it brings our community joy. We don't always have things to be so excited and happy about all the time, but just to be happy and joyous to watch what Dawn really has created and what you have carried on and these other uh, women are doing is exceptional. With that, I want to ask Mayor Rickman and um, Mr. Simons, Lee Snellgrove, I think is this the time to do the unveiling? Okay, so we are, uh, we're going to um, ask them to join and connect on the stage, I believe, as we have this unveiling and a presentation of the Legacy Award. at the Lady Street Garage, or uh, Assembly Street side, where everybody can see it. It, was, it is there now. It is dropped and lowered. And um, Henry, do you need to add anything about that? I know, come on, Henry, now. You know you're going to make this happen. Come on, Henry. <laughs> Thank you all, number one, so much for, for being here. And uh, this is just fitting for you, Asia. Um, I, I'm also from Hopkins, South Carolina. And um, what we wanted to accomplish through Mayor Rickman's leadership, our city manager, and others in this room, we wanted to make sure that um, you're special. And you could have went anywhere else in this country to play the game of basketball. But you decided to stay here in your hometown and give us what we all deserve. And for that, uh, we are grateful. And you have a 50 by 36 banner <laughs> that represents how we feel about you. So again, congratulations to you. And you got the keys, and you got the coins, and you got the banner, and now we get to add to that harvest with this uh, Legacy Award. So come on up. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank
Do you want to do a quick picture? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, well, here, here, you can do it. Um, wow, thank you so much to everyone in this room. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. Uh, like I said, you guys could be anywhere, but you decided to be here with me today. Uh, this is truly something special. Uh, the, and I'm trying not to get choked up, but uh, <laughs> here I go. <laughs> um, I got a lot of bad looks when I didn't choose other schools when it came to deciding to stay here in South Carolina. Uh, and it was something that didn't really matter to me because I knew how much this state, how much this city, uh, has done so much for me and for me to leave would be crazy <laughs> and it was just it was just didn't make sense to me uh, and I'm so happy I'm so thankful that I was able to stay uh, I never would have thought that a young girl that hated to sweat uh, would be <laughs> absolutely hate sweat still hate it till this day uh, that now I sweat for a living and uh, I never would have thought I would be able to say that I would be accepting this legacy award here I uh, just got to thank everyone. I got my thank you notes. Uh, just obviously the city of Columbia uh, for doing this for me. Mayor, honestly, thank you so much. Everyone in between. Uh, Coach Dharma and Jack Day. My tennis players. Yeah, I had to give up tennis because it was an outdoor sport and I don't like to sweat. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I, I knew they were here. I was like, oh my gosh, my childhood is all coming back. And this is the reason why I stay. This is the reason why I love to come back. Uh, because the city has done so much, the state has done so much for me. Uh, so if I can repay it in any type of way, I'm all down for it, especially if it's involving young people, um, children, anyone in between, because they are our future. They are the ones that have the key, the real key to the city to be able to flourish and grow. So for me to do that, uh, it's been incredible. My family, my village is here. Thank you guys so much for always being by my side. Y'all have been there through the thunderstorms and the sunshines and everything in between. To my crazy parents, <laughs> where do I start with you guys? I mean, Teresa said, boy, so I was like, my mom, are you sure? Are you talking about evil? Um, no, but no, uh, thank you so much for pushing me. Thank you so much for the sacrifice that you guys have just put forward to be able for me to be able to stand up here and to speak, honestly, to speak. Thank you so much for dialing into me, pouring. I know that cup is overflowing, but you guys continue to pour into me. And I think that's just the message that I want to leave here tonight is, Pour, it, pour into someone else. That cup, we all have that cup and it's halfway full, have to empty, however you guys want to look at it, but pour into someone else because you never know who needs it. And we all need it, all need it, we really do. And when it comes to just our mental and what we do every single day, we're, we're living. We're living and we're alive and we're grateful and I'm blessed and we all are blessed. So if you have any chance to pour into someone else, to give to someone else, do that. And I promise your, your cup's gonna fill up and, and that's what it's all about and I'm just, Truly grateful, I'm not trying to take up all the time in the world, but I'm truly grateful. And when it comes to this state, when it comes to the city and everything in between, I'm gonna give it my all. I remember my mom was, I don't even, what's a good word to say? Harassing me, um, <laughs> all playoffs, because she's like, hey, you gotta do this voiceover for this church. This church needs you. You know, Reverend Graham saying, you gotta do this voiceover for the radio. I'm like, it's game two in the finals, mom. And I'm like, come on, like, I, I got to do this. She's like, hey, you gotta do your voiceover. You gotta do this. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So after game three, I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, and that's, and it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer when it comes to just giving back to the city because it has done so much for me. I mean, I'm not even talking about the statue. I think this is my first time actually seeing the statue in about two years. Uh, it's just kind of weird for me to see myself. Uh, but no, we, we drove by, past there today and it's just an honor and I'm so blessed. I am really, really blessed to be able to stand up here and accept this award uh, from people in a state and a city that has poured so much into me. And a lot of people, they see my job, I had to get a Nevada driving license, y'all. I'm sorry, taxes kind of got in my pocket. But uh, every time they see the license, they're like, oh, you're from Nevada? I'm like, absolutely not. I am from South Carolina, <laughs> home of the Gamecocks. <laughs> So no matter where I am uh, in the world, no matter where I am in this country, they're always gonna say South Carolina first before they say anything. And that's the pride that I wear on my heart every single day. And I love that I'm a Carolina girl through and through, Southern Belle. Uh, my accent's starting to come out a little bit, uh, but that's me. And I'm so grateful to be able to be here with you guys, uh, finally back home, and uh, grateful for this award. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get your award.
award. What a beautiful award. Let's hear it one more time. The Legacy Award recipient, the one, the only, Asia Wilson! We have one more surprise before y'all um, turn up and celebrate a little bit tonight. Nobody does that like Asia, by the way. I love her championship celebrations, okay? Um, Aja Charles, where is Aja? Don't let everybody see it, Aja. I want you to walk up and do a big reveal on stage. She did a live painting tonight. And talk about excellence um, and just being so exceptional at your craft and using your gift to bless others. Um, so appropriate to have Aja here um, in the same speed of that legacy that we're celebrating with Asia tonight. So we will have her on the count of three. One, two, three. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> Only the best for the champ. Look at that, Asia. Is that not beautiful? She did that tonight, y'all, while y'all were sitting in here Listening to all the comments about Asia, Aisha sat down. Asia and Aisha, how about that? She painted that live here tonight, Asia. Incredible. Let's give it up, y'all. Hold it up with her, Aisha, so we can get, we got to get the good Kodak moment. <laughs> Is that not incredible? Thank you for sharing your blessings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Aisha Charles. Wow. Wow. Y'all be sure to follow Aisha on Instagram. She's got some great events coming up around the city, but she is a blessing um, and a jewel of our community as well. It is time to close out the evening. What an evening it has been. Have you all enjoyed the legacy celebration with Asia Wilson? Asia, before we leave tonight, we started by inviting the spirit into this room, and that's how I want to close it out as well. Psalms 145, 1 and 7 just talks about greatness in the Lord, right? I will proclaim your greatness, my God and my King. I will thank you forever and ever. Every day I will thank you. I will praise you forever and ever. The Lord is great and is to be highly praised. His greatness is beyond understanding. And this is the part of the scripture that I just want to pray over you, Asia. What you have done will be praised from one generation to the next. They will proclaim your mighty acts. They will speak of your glory and majesty and meditate on your wonderful deeds. People will speak of your mighty deeds and proclaim your greatness. They will tell about your goodness and sing about your kindness. Asia Wilson, continue to let God's glory and majesty shine brilliantly through you. We congratulate you on your legacy award and your contributions and everything that is still to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Asia Wilson!